For four years, Porsche's LMP1 program produced some of the quickest racing cars ever seen. But when the effort got cancelled, what happened to the drivers? And where are they now? Let's take a look. Il Bamba stayed with Porsche, winning the 2019 IMSA GT Le Mans title and the 2020 24 hours of Spa. But once Porsche ended their GTLM program at the end of 2020, he left and was signed by Chip Ganassi Racing and Cadillac near the end of 2021. Bamba won the 12 hours of Sebring on just his third start for the team and is now a key part of Cadillac's WEC effort taking the manufacturer's first ever Le Mans podium earlier this year. Timo Bernard retired from racing at the end of 2019, becoming a Porsche ambassador. These days, he focuses on managing his Team 75 Bernhard team, who compete in the DTM, racing, you guessed it, Porsches. His final professional race appearance came at the 2019 Petit Le Mans, driving for Mazda Team Yoast, and Bernhard was also the driver who, in 2018, obliterated Stefan Beloff's 35-year-old outright lap record around the Nürburgring Nordschleife, aboard the 919 Evo. Roman de Mar is still a Porsche factory driver, but currently competes against them for Glickenhaus Racing in the WEC. De Mar, a jack of all trades and master of plenty, has driven lots of different cars in the last few years, winning the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and Goodwood Festival of Speed in the all-electric Volkswagen IDR, taking on the Dakar Rally, all whilst keeping up his run of appearances at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Brendan Hartley moved to F1 at the end of 2017 with Toro Rosso, but left at the end of his first full season. He was picked up by Toyota to return to sports cars and has gone on to add two more Le Mans wins and a third WEC world title to his CV. With a 15-point lead entering the season finale, the Kiwi is well-placed to make it back-to-back -back hypercar titles in Bahrain this November. Nico Hülkenberg hasn't raced a Porsche since he won Le Mans in 2015 and has instead focused solely on F1. He left Forced India at the end of 2016, spending three years at Renault and three as a reserve driver before finding his way back onto the grid at Haas F1 team this season and taking a best finish of seventh at the Australian Grand Prix. Neil Yarny stayed with Porsche, driving for them in both Formula E and the WEC, but left them at the end of last year after a couple of difficult seasons. 2023 has been the year of the rebuild for Neil, and he has taken on three different roles. Hypercar driver for Proton Competition, LMP2 driver for Decane Team, and simulator driver for Audi's F1 program. Mark Lieb retired from full-time racing at the end of 2016, although continued to make occasional appearances with back-to-back -back class wins in the Bathurst 12 hour and a year spent in the LMP1 reserve role. Lieb still works for Porsche, and is now the head of international customer sport Northern Europe. Long story short, he works on the customer racing side of Porsche Motorsport. Andre Lotter has stayed with Porsche to transition to their Formula E program, maintaining his reputation as the best Formula E driver never to win a race. For 2023, he moved back to sports cars to compete in the WEC for Porsche Penske Motorsport, but remained in Formula E with Porsche customer Andretti. After a difficult Formula E season, he'll focus solely on taking a fourth Le Mans win in 2024. Nick Tandy, like Bamba, moved to Wimps's GT Le Mans class with Porsche before also joining General Motors in 2021 when Porsche's stateside programme ended. He spent two years at Corvette Racing alongside Tommy Milner, winning five races before returning to Porsche this year to drive in GTP. After winning last time out at Indianapolis, he and Matthew Yamane sit just five points off the championship lead 
with only Petit Le Mans to go. And last but not least, Mark Webber retired from racing at the end of 2016. He now combines several jobs, Porsche Ambassador, Red Bull Athlete, Driver Mentor and TV Pundit. Which driver's career path surprised you the most? And which other team should I do this for? Please let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not press that like button and subscribe to the channel? It really helps me out.